B. Us. N. Burr, burr, burr. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Rank Bone, the one and only podcast where we rank your favorite video games and tell you what to think about them. For this series, for this season of Rank Bone, we are doing Sonic the Hedgehog and ranking all the mainline games. I'm your host, Bander, and joining me, as always, the master of all things emeralds, Joey Spicy Fries. Welcome to the show, Joey. Hi, right, welcome. <laughs> Good job, you did it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, thanks for having me this evening. How are you doing tonight? I am so excited to be with you here today to talk about this wonderful game called the Sonic Advance 1. I believe it's just called Sonic Advance since the first. True, but uh, we do call Sonic Adventure Sonic Adventure 1. For gotcha. Part. Fair enough. Um, if you don't know what the show is, it is a it's supposed to be a weekly podcast. Uh, we were very bad at that, and now we're being very good about that because it was been, it's been about three days since our last episode. Uh, so we're trying to catch up a little bit, uh, which is very easy when you're playing a game as short as Sonic Advance. Yes. Uh, we're going through every single mainline Sonic game that is Sonic Sonic 1 through Sonic Forces, and anything that comes out uh, beyond that, we'll go back and rank as well. So far, we've done Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, Sonic 3, Sonic Knuckles, Sonic Adventure 1, and we are now doing Sonic Advance 1. We are doing them in release order, except for these games, because we wanted to alternate between 3D mainline games and 2D mainline games. So we're doing... Someone doesn't sound happy. Yeah, my cat's not happy about that. They're actually fighting as we speak. <laughs> so no we're alternating. Doing... We're doing Adventure 1, Advance 1, Adventure 2, Advance 2... Adventure 3 doesn't exactly exist. Sonic Heroes, and then Sonic Advanced 3. Um, nice. And then I think that the Rush games do alternate correctly as we need them. Uh, but yeah, that's the only differences we're going to be doing. Uh, but of course, for today we are doing Sonic Advance 1. It's a relatively short game, so this should be a pretty tight episode. So, let me just go over some quick facts about that. Sorry, Joey, you're not allowed to talk that much here. By which I mean, there's not really room for you to talk. <laughs> the game was released February 3rd, 2001 in North America. Other release dates a little bit earlier in Japan, a little later for Europe. For the Game Boy Advance and October 7th for the N-Gage. Who remembers the N-Gage, Joey? I don't. <laughs> it was a mobile phone slash gaming system. One of the really? only of its kind. It did not do well. It was very unsuccessful. I thought it was so cool when I was little. I wanted one so bad. <laughs> because <laughs> i could have been playing sonic on it uh the game was developed by dimps and sonic team dimps is one of their um their usual developers for sonic games uh specifically the handheld games i believe they made sonic's pocket adventure maybe and it was published in north america by thq a company that no longer exists i mean technically now it's called thq nordic but i don't think that's the same company but they still make games and they're actually pretty decent so Sonic, this is Sonic's 10th anniversary game, because this Sonic is 10 years old, because it came first game came out in 1991. You can play as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, each with unique movesets. And there is a cheat code that allows you to play as Sonic and Tails. That's a little fun fact for you. There is a Ooh. tiny tiny Chow Garden that you can play, which has connectivity with the GameCube Sonic Adventure games, as well as Chow Races and Chow Hunt if you connect to other Game Boys. Other than that, there is a Versus mode, there is Time Attack mode, and some options to go over. And that is about it for the kind of game itself. You get to pick and choose your character at the very beginning. Uh, go through the go through the game uh, with each character. Collect cast emeralds to get a, a final boss at the end. That's about it. Cool. I had fun listening to all those facts. <laughs> those are facts, Joey. Your <laughs> initial thoughts on the game? Uh, I used to play the Sonic Advance games as a kid, so it was very fun to revisit them. Um, in the past day, two days, I finished it yesterday. Um, a breath was, of fresh air compared quick. to Sonic Adventure. Yeah, you're not kidding. Like I blasted through it like it was no joke. Yeah, not to um, say Sonic Adventure was too long, I, but it was drastically different. Yeah, definitely different. Um, different model altogether. So uh, I knew that Sonic Advance would be pretty quick. Um, Game Boy games, they're fun to play, but once you get in the groove, that's it. You're in it and you're out like that. Yeah. Did you? How many of the different play styles did you try? Because I know we didn't. How we did this is we did Sonic Story, mm -hmm. and then um, I dabbled in all the other characters. Played a couple levels with each. Uh, I think I played like halfway through, through with each of the other characters. Sonic all the way through. Yeah. Um, 
that it for your initial thoughts? Mm, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, this was a blind playthrough for me, unless... Unless, of course, this was the game that was... There was, like, an old Flash game on, like, Newgrounds or something like that that was, like, Sonic. Uh, that I feel like this was based off of, or is. But I'm not, never, not 100% sure. So I, I believe this is the first time... Sonic Flash game back then. Yeah, it was really interesting. Um, I don't remember... I don't really... I don't think this was, this was the same game. This was my first time playing it, so it was a blind playthrough. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was very, you know, a very competent game, and for being a Game Boy game mobile title our first mobile title they're reviewing uh i definitely give it a little bit more points um for what it was able to do versus what it compared to some of the, the more console titles right. um so i think it's a pretty good game um it's very short um it doesn't have a super a big presence compared to the other titles because uh there is no real story to this game it is just essentially sonic 2 again kind of and there's lots yeah, of yeah pretty much yeah, there's lots of parallel levels to lots of the Genesis titles. It's a very safe game. Um, and like I said, it doesn't really stand out. The only real gimmick is that you get to play as the four different characters. Um, and they have different movesets, but the movesets that they have don't really make any sense in terms of what you're doing in the game. Mm -hmm. And are kind of forgettable in the regard. Um, but yeah, let's get into... We're gonna go over, you know, Sonic story and the whole and the game itself, and then we'll go into the other characters real quick, and then give right. our our final thoughts. Oh, before I forget, we have a correction to make from last episode, Joey. Uh oh. We started a new ranking system of ranking Sonic themes, and we ranked just Sonic Adventure One's theme. Open your heart. We forgot a theme though. Sonic Boom is the theme to Sonic CD. And. As such, should deserve to be ranked, don't you think? I agree. Do you remember Let Sonic Boom? It. Yes, I do. Sonic Boom, really Sonic that. Boom, save the planet from disaster. That song, you know. I remember it. Uh, <laughs> number two, <laughs> Sonic Boom. Yeah, that's fair. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, Sonic Advance does not have a real, like, vocal theme that we can really throw in there. No. So. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess we're starting with Neo Green Hill Zone, I believe it's called. Uh-huh, yep, Neo Have Green it. Hill Zone. And what a drastic change from your usual Green Hill Zone. Yeah, you're right. It's, um, pretty different between the two. It's got beach, it's got, like, a little city bridge, it's got forest. That's a very different level. But it's since still your, fun. Since your dad has Green Hill Zone. <laughs> Any, yeah, uh, uh, um, I mean, it's, um, I would probably say this the same for any of the beginning levels in any of the Sonic games. They're all, they all have that opening zone um, feel to them. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, I think I've played through it four times now because I played through <laughs> with all four characters. Right. Um, it's a pretty good. I mean, it's a very interesting level because it's 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 not like the other green like Green Hill zones, I, I quote unquote, um, in that it like it changes a lot of its, um, the design of it or the um, what am I trying to say? The the biome changes a lot as you go through the level, mm -hmm. and yeah, and even the Eggman boss is actually kind of difficult. The car with the hammer. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a fun boss to face. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. It it doesn't. Sorry, doesn't egg make hammer it. tank is the yeah. specific name for that boss. I think the egg hammer tank. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is. It doesn't make a huge impact as far as the level goes, uh, opening level goes. I mean, it kind of sets the stage for the other levels being just sort of Game Boy versions of old school Sonic levels. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just not. Um, not the it doesn't best, it doesn't set the set the stage so like, like some of the other levels do, right? Uh, then we have I believe is secret base zone yes, which is your factory factory themed level, right? And um, another interesting level to uh to speed through no matter what character you are. Yeah, um, that's one thing I liked about this game was that's it's going back to 
how the beginning games were focused more on just blazing right through the stage yeah and the game i mean it does have a really good sense of speed from what i've noticed Mm -hmm. where it's it definitely follows that sonic 2 formula and it does it actually really well but from by the end of it i uh this this level especially has a lot of good like speedy sections that i remember there's a lot of grind rails there's a lot of like machines that are lifting you around and moving you around in in fun ways right no definitely lots of fun and um boss another another fun challenge remind me what this boss was again the egg press that was, oh um, the the spring the the pogo stick one yep yes that one right there yeah and then moving on we go to our i don't even know what this one's called carnival it's a carnival level What's Ca- casino paradise zone casino paradise zone it is basically casino night zone pretty much yeah I like I, I love the boss in this one. Case, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, the boss was a lot of fun. Very mm-hmm. tricky, especially with the the spike ball you got to avoid at the meantime. Yeah, great speed on this one. I felt like this is almost faster than Casino Night Zone, and, and in a good way. One aspect I love out of these levels is when they put the the pinball um, flippers into it. Like that's fun. It makes it interactive. Yeah, it's it's a very competent stage. It just. I feel like with with these three stages, and even so, all of the stages, in a way, they don't have their own sense of identity. Like, I wouldn't rank any of these as my favorite stages. No, because it's kind of like you're ranking a past stage, once again, as your favorite. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything new. Whereas you look at something like Sonic Mania levels, all of the levels that they designed for that are completely new ideas. Never, like, they're, they're really unique uniquely designed levels not so much a copy and paste with a few differences here and there yeah i kind of thought about this i i feel like this is the this is the the force awakens of sonic games oh gosh (laughs) after because this game came out after adventure 2 uh, right and this is a this this is the game that is kind of like i think this is the first this is the first mm, non-sega platform sonic game i think um, I believe it's possible- so. Yeah, it's definitely the first Nintendo one, I believe. Mm, you um, could be right. So this is after Sega's pretty much downfall. So this is their, them trying to recover, and they definitely play it safe here. And it, this game was very successful as far as a Game Boy game, one of the top sellers on Game Boy. Right. I'm surprised I never owned it. I don't know why I didn't, <laughs> but yeah. Um. Then Stop we got next, to got Ice Mountain Zone. Ice Mountain Zone. Um, yeah, I like Ice Cap so I mean, it does have a, it does feature a, a bigger focus on a water section, so I feel like this is the water level of the game, which right. is different. Um, one thing I I definitely I want to point out is that this game does not have memorable music at all. Um, I mean, it doesn't have memorable music, but it does have Game Boy style music, and that's one thing I enjoyed as a kid growing up, and I loved the soundtracks coming out of these games. That is true. That so, is, I, I definitely agree with you. And you, and you might have a better, um, you can probably identify the music a little bit better than I can since this was my first time playing it. But. Probably so. Ice Mountain Zone was probably one of the songs that I enjoyed more so mm-hmm. out of this game. I thought the boss was very challenging, but in a fun way. Um, I mean, and... it's it, it's tough because you not only you got to try to hit him, you got to try and get air at the same time. Yeah, I felt I found that to be. Guys. Yeah, I found that to be really unique aspect where it's like you you have to kind of decide do you want to do damage or do you want to go up for air and mm-hmm. then once you kind of get the hang of the the rhythm to it it's it's really fun i'm watching it like i'm watching it right now that's what the video is right now oh, okay. um and remember like, this is probably my favorite boss fight i thought the the casino one was was really fun i think mm-hmm. this one kind of tops it a little bit more this one was a lot of fun yeah other than that there's nothing really more the, i like the some of the enemy types and i liked how the snow kind of affected sonic and when he was running about um right when it's deep and you're slowed down yeah that is but, pretty interesting though but yeah but once again it's just not doesn't stand out i guess this isn't like this wouldn't go on on my top list of anything right so up next we've got angel island zone angel island zone i mean it's cool that they do like a like a, a throwback Mm-hmm. Uh, but the only thing about this is that it gets into one of the, the more bigger problems with this game is that, you know, we've had five 2D games now as well as the 3D Sonic games. And this game doesn't have a story. This is right. as much story as Sonic 1. 
essentially. So it's just kind of random to levels. Nine as far as the story goes. Yeah, they're just kind of random levels thrown together. And Angel Island Zone would be really cool if there was some sort of story that's going along with it that makes sense. Now, I don't know if the other advanced games go, get into much story. Um, don't believe they do. Maybe yeah. 3 does, but I don't think 2 does at all. Yeah, I mean, we'll find out. Um, um, I will but, say that the boss of this level was my favorite out of the game, and that is Mecha Knuckles. Oh, yeah, Mecha Knuckles. That was very interesting. I, I, didn't, I, was, I was like, is this really Knuckles? And he doesn't look... He kind of looks... <laughs> no, he he looks, looks like... The color yeah, was off. Like fake Knuckles, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, he blew up, and I was kind of just like, mm, yeah, he's done. Like, he kills Knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, like I said, the the level itself is fine. Um, I think that this this is where the game started to throw some, a little bit too many of the the, the fuck yous uh, that I don't like in Sonic games, and that is a problem specifically because the screen size is so small. There's mm-hmm. not a lot of <laughs> like Sonic takes up a big chunk of the middle of the screen, and there's not a lot of room to the left and right for you to really see. Know now, how did you come about playing this one? Uh. What do you mean? I played it on a Game Boy, of course, <laughs> and recorded it off the Game Boy. Ah, fair enough. I played it on emu- on an emulator on my computer, yeah. just straight off Google, and I got full screen on it. So, well, no, it's not like that. It's full screen. It's that there's there's the game does not render that much in front of you. Like if there's oh, like if you, I see what you're saying. Okay, sorry, my bad. Like if you think about like a Sonic Mania or something like that, being an HD game or even Sonic Four. Mm-hmm. The game has a lot of room beyond what Sonic, where Sonic is. So if mm-hmm. something's coming at you, you have a lot of time to react. Whereas this game, it's like if there's a bullet or like a spike trap in front of you, and you you're heading right for it, you're running into. You that don't game. have there's a lot no... of time to react to it. Yeah, unless you know the level by heart, it's really right. difficult to like make sudden movements. Now, Sonic has a like a a flip thing that he can do if you tap the mm-hmm. control stick in one way but it doesn't mm-hmm. i don't know how exactly it works because it doesn't go very far i looked up some I, of the moves do you have any idea i feel like it's a momentary invincibility but i wouldn't call it an uh. attack because just straight jumping is an attack yeah he also got this he's, he also does like you can if you press the press one button three times he'll do like a somersault and like a kick and like a flip yeah he does do that too i i the controls were weird for this one yeah, it's cute. I don't know what it does though, and the game obviously doesn't explain what what those moves are for. So, and that's like it with every character. Every character has their own unique move set, but the right. game doesn't really explain how to actually take advantage of it. I guess I don't know. The there's nothing in the pause screen that tells you. I don't think there's anything in any of the extra menus that will tell you like or like options or anything like that. Um. So yeah, I remember there is a remake of this game, a fan a fan made remake of this game that uh, does exactly what I said, which creates more screen resolution. Oh, puppy! Um, <laughs> and it looks really good, and it shows controls on the pause screen. Um, so I think that that's something that the game had a problem with, where controls and these special right. moves just are there and they're interesting, but they don't do anything. No, you don't know what they do, and. I think the only way to come about learning them is just to keep playing the game until you figure it out. Or look it up like I did. Or look it up. I don't know what prompted me to look it up. I think it was... um, I think I was... I don't know. What was I doing? I think I was trying to look up to see if there was like a... special move of some sort that I found. I forget which one it is. Anyway, back to the levels. What's our our next (laughs) one? Egg Rocket Zone is what we have next. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm good. Never mind. All right, so your thoughts. Uh, Egg Rocket Zone was fun. This is this is one of the zones where the floor really just starts to get away from you. And it was frustrating for a while. Yeah. But, a lot of pitfalls mm-hmm. that you don't know are coming. <laughs> a lot of spike traps. And it was a lot of fun. This is another stage where the music really um, enticed me. Uh, so yeah, I was I was in it to win it throughout this entire level, and I enjoyed it every bit of the way. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's with the with the whole screen. Um, what's the term I'm looking for? Screen. Um, 
what's the term? Property screen. It's a, like a, a screen real estate. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Property. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with the amount of screen real estate you have and the amount of spikes and traps and enemies that are just shooting in front of you that you can't really see, especially mm-hmm. right above you, like those stupid floating hovering guys that just shoot down and you can't right. see, or those diamond shaped enemies that shoot forward, it just it, it gets kind of uh, frustrating. But luckily, right. this game doesn't have a Sonic 1 aspect where you can't continue. It just sends you back to the beginning. It doesn't have that, which is really nice. Yeah, so I can't nice. say I'm super frustrated about this. The boss <laughs> fight was really cool, though. I like the, like the mechanic of it. Egg Snake, yes. Very fun boss's challenge. Somebody's awake. Oh, no, now they're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was um, Egg Rocket Zone. Uh, moving on, we've got Cosmic Angel Zone. Cosmic Angel Zone. Maybe this yes. is the zone. Maybe yeah. this is the zone I'm thinking of. Is, oh, this just, is this just a boss fight? My bad. There wasn't a boss in uh, Egg Rocket Zone. Was there not? No. Is the egg snake? No, the snake, the the bouncy, the bouncy egg one, is the boss of that zone, isn't it? And then in this one, there's just the final boss, right? Uh, or the the final boss, quote unquote. There's there's cosmic angel zone, then X zone, then the moon zone. So well, the moon zone's the supersonic fight. The X zone is the the final three bo- the, layered yeah. bosses. So yeah, the so th- Egg Snake belongs to Cosmic Angel Zone, so Egg Rocket Zone didn't have a boss. I got confused. Egg Rocket Zone didn't have a boss? I guess so, huh. Oh, that's right. It kind of just ends. Yeah, because you're trying to get out before before you... Um, you're timed on that one, so you gotta get to the end before you run are out you? of time. Yes, you are. Oh, I think I, I went to the options and I turned off time. I didn't realize that would affect uh... it like that. <laughs> that's funny you sneaky sue i didn't realize that would be thing because i'm like i'm like i don't want to run out of time i don't care <laughs> well you're you're timed negatively on that one it's not going up you're losing time uh, okay yeah i didn't have that i wasn't a mechanic <laughs> uh, fair enough um anyways cosmic angel zone this one was pretty fun um very pretty i like the colors yeah definitely a good color scheme for a level um and then yeah, <laughs> Egg Snake, fun boss to fight. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I like that the checkpoint was around some shields and some rings and stuff like that, so you can recover if you need to. Um, yeah. Any yeah. Other thoughts? <laughs> uh, no, that was a that was a quick level that I found. I just got right through. Yep. Then now we're on to the X zone, which is just the boss, right? Yep, literally just the three bosses. Mm-hmm. Egg um, Mobile H, Egg Mobile D, and the Egg X. Yep. Uh, cool throwbacks. Um, yeah, Egg Mobile H, that's one of my favorite bosses of all time with the pendulum. I like um, that. I mean, I'm, I'm a Sonic 2 guy, so I always like the uh, the Sonic 2 uh, drill car. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, the final boss, I mean, I don't particularly like... 2d eggman final bosses and that's usually just because a lot of the mechanics involve like reaction time that the game does not give you at all yeah um so much of that is you just hope that the the move that eggman throws out to you isn't isn't the one you're not set up for like if you're if you're set up to to attack on laser Mm -hmm. uh you know you you gotta hope he doesn't do the charge and, and whatnot um i think i ended up getting behind him which is insta kill basically for him. So. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese is the uh, the goal the game, here, man. And cheese isn't even a character yet. That's in Hell. Sonic Advance. That's in Sonic Advance that's two. That's two. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, mean, I think that's it for going over the levels. Uh, what was your favorite boss fight? Um, I would have to say my favorite boss fight out of all. I'd say Mecha Knuckles. McMuggles. I really enjoyed the the water one. I thought that was really unique. Egg spider. Yeah. Overall, your favorite level? Favorite level. Um, that's interesting. I liked a lot of them, but I'd have to. Uh, I'd have to say. Egg rocket zone would be my favorite. Cool. I think uh, Casino Par- Paradise. I think that they just just thinking back to the the speed of the level. I feel like that's the where the game really just like flowed 
really well and yep. felt like a really like fun to play Sonic level without getting sure. to the big like kind of like screw you kind of moments. <laughs> Those but are yeah. always. Oh okay, yeah, go ahead. Favorite character to play as? Oh, if Sonic, not Sonic for sure. <laughs> if okay. not Sonic, um, I guess Tails. I I was messing around with Knuckles and I found his gliding mechanic to be a little weird. Mm. Um, first off, he can do a punching combo, which I don't know why you would ever do that. And um, he has the glide. The glide is kind of annoying though because when you glide, you can you can turn around, um, and you can't glide from certain types of jumps. Which is annoying. Like if you go off a spring, I don't think you can glide from this a spring jump. No, it has to be a jump, jump. Yeah, and then when you land on the ground from a glide, you come to a complete stop, which is not yes. what you want to do. You want to carry that momentum, and that to me felt like the the biggest detriment to Knuckles' style. And then with Amy, the same thing is that you don't have a good a good attack from jump from jump momentum. Or from... Well, no, jump momentum, she has the, the jump attack. You don't have a good mm -hmm. attack from running. Because when you do the hammer, you come to a complete stop, which is very counterintuitive to Sonic Game style. Right. Um, uh, Amy is really unique. I like her I like her hammer jump, so she can jump really high. Um, but I think Tails is the best like balance between the three. And Tails is just fun to do. Knuckles' glide is fun, because you can just skip levels. Uh, but I think Tails is the best balance of the three. Right. So. Knuckles could also swim in ice mountain zones water. I think Tails can too. Probably so. You're probably that's, right. That, that's what I read. Uh, I only got to... I think I got through through Casino with Amy, and then I did the, the first level for, with both of the other two characters. Uh, okay. Uh, and yeah. Overall, I think that this, this game doesn't have a... Oh, the special stages. Uh, I only got to two of them, and I couldn't get through them. They seemed really difficult and very seizure seizure like. I played one. I think it was the free fall where you got to collect all the coins. And I did yeah, that's that's. The, I think that's the only one they have. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, they're apparently very difficult because I'm. I'm it's on the video right now, and it's like mm -hmm. I just remember it's just difficult. They're cool though. They're a cool idea. Just very. Difficult. Yeah, very Sonic like with the the board <laughs> falling into a gravity <laughs> well. It's, it's interesting, right? Um, I just think that this game lacks a sense of identity, um, but it is, you know, it is the handheld Sonic game, so it is, it gets a lot of slack for that, um, and it's a very competent game, it's put together very well, animations are very fluid, you know, level design are all varied, even though they don't really stand out that much, um, uh, bosses are very cool, uh, good, good ideas are among the bosses, um, but I think I the think main gimmick, hmm? go ahead. I was gonna say I think maybe if it just had like an actual story line yes. wrapped around it, that would have that would have definitely put it from here to here. Yeah, and I think that the you know Sonic Three and I think CD have a good sense of like transitions through levels, to mm -hmm. where you're not just kind of going through random. No, I don't think CD had that. Um, where you're just going through random levels, or maybe CD CD, CD has like a, a story that's that's going through it. Uh, but three, three and Knuckles really, you know, excelled with that story from level to level. Those transitions <laughs> to where you're, where you understand like what's going on. Um, whereas Sonic Advance, it doesn't have anything. There's no sense of story. I don't think like maybe there is something, but it is just get the Chaos Emeralds from Doctor Eggman. Which, speaking of which, there is a final boss, which is a Super Sonic fight. Um, mm -hmm. I did not collect all the emeralds. I didn't uh, have a single one. <laughs> me neither. Uh, I was thinking of just doing the the Emerald Zone with all with all four characters and trying to get it that way, but I was like, I don't have enough time for that. Uh, so right. I watched the boss final boss on a video. It seems very easy and very basic, but you know, it's a super most fight. supersonic fights would. Yeah, well, Chaos is pretty fun. Yeah, Chaos was a lot of fun. Uh, and we'll see we'll see if um, Biohazard or Bio Lizard is uh, just as good. It's not. It's really not. Yeah, so I think that the main gimmick of the game is with the the four separate characters going through the game, um, which is not really something. I mean, I think Sonic Three kind of does touches on that, but this is the one where it's like you get to play all four characters, and they all do all have the same the same levels, so you're not you're not kind of gimped with Knuckles' story like you were in Sonic Three, right? Um, or was it Sonic and Knuckles? It's either one. You can play as him in both of them. 
Right. Um, and then they have these special moves, which are cool and interesting that they came up with these sort of different button combinations, but the game never tells you about them, and it's hard to really figure out where you're supposed to use them. Whereas I think in things like Sonic Adventure, where you have special moves, the game is like, here's where you can use these moves, and then proceeds to actually... Yeah, and then proceeds to actually have them be useful. Mm -hmm. Um, Such as uh, Knuckles' Dig, or the Lightspeed Dash, or um, fucking Gamma's Hover, which is the the best ability ability in the entire game. Right. So yeah, I think that's about it. Um, Let's rank it. Let's do it. Let's pull up that list. (laughs) Let's get it going. So let me bring up the list here and give you guys the current rankings, which is number one, Sonic 2, number two, Sonic Knuckles, number three, Sonic Adventure 1, number four, Sonic 3, number five, Sonic CD, and number six, Sonic 1. Joey, I ask you today, where do you put Sonic Advance 1? I think if I'd have to be serious about where I'd rank it, I would rank it at number four on the list. Number four, above Sonic Number four. three. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's pretty high. Yeah, for me, I have it below Sonic CD. Because while I think that Sonic CD like isn't the best Sonic game and has mm-hmm. some weird stuff going on, I think Sonic CD is super unique and has a lot of replayability. To where it's like, mm-hmm. if I was thinking which game would I want to replay. I would definitely want to go back into Sonic CD and try some of those mechanics that didn't work, whereas with Sonic Advanced, a lot of those mechanics and, and extra stuff that you can lock doesn't really lead lead anywhere. Right. But you, you want to argue for above Sonic 3. Where does CD stand again? Um, CD currently stands at position 5. So you would want to make Sonic Advance 6, thusly putting Sonic at Sonic 1 at 7. Yeah, so it would go it would go Sonic 1, Sonic Advance 1 and then CD. Now granted, I just want to point out Sonic 1 not a bad game. It's it's the middle of the road for me as far as Sonic games go. Right. Sonic Advance 1, I believe there are a lot of games in between that'll go in between Sonic Advance 1 and Sonic 1. Um so I so I'm definitely not saying Sonic 1 Advance 1 is a is a bad game, but it doesn't identify itself well. But you do know you have what, a, just to be fair, I I will side with you on that. I was gonna say I was gonna, well because I was gonna say because based on how we do this, it would fall it would go in between three and CD it would be above CD based off this if you wanted to argue for above Sonic three, what do you what do you what, why would you put it above Sonic three? I mean it's um it's the beginning of the Game Boy era for Sonic games and I'm sure two would I would probably put above that because that was the game I grew up with more so but I don't I know Sonic I just I just, I just enjoyed. I just enjoyed this game a lot, and no, I I think you're right in putting it below CD. That's a fair um, rank. My only well, the thing with three is three. I like a lot. I think three is. Oh, my light went out. No, can't see my beautiful face <laughs> anymore. Um, the thing with three is that three is a good game. It just was incomplete, but it's still more of a package than this game. Um, the light's not working, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to turn on the light real quick. I should remember to charge that thing beforehand. Um, have I have I convinced you? I don't want to I don't want to force your opinion here. No, I, I don't feel forced. I feel that's a fair uh, rank. I would put it at number six. Okay, cool. And there you go. There's our rankings for this uh, week. We have number one still for uh, I wanted to just, I, w- I would want to say like five weeks in a row, but it's been like you know three months or something sonic 2 (laughs) number two sonic and knuckles number three sonic adventure number four sonic 3 number five sonic cd and number six sonic advance and number seven moving on down sonic (laughs) one will it stay there will anything get below sonic one i guarantee you it will it only gets worse from here (laughs) mostly um well not next week i don't think i think sonic adventure one will or Adventure 2 will go somewhere here. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. It'll be higher up. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't think we really get to a bad game. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'd ha- I don't think there's a game that I would put below Sonic 1 until things get a little dark. 
Uh, <laughs> I knew we'll that was coming. We'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, generally speaking, how I go about with my ranking choices is, is I think first and foremost, what do I want to play? If you were mm-hmm. to ask me, do I want to play this game or this game? And whichever one pops in my head first is the one I choose. So in gotcha. this case, would I want to play Sonic Advance 1 or would I want to play Sonic 1? Definitely Sonic Advance 1, for sure. Do I want to play Sonic CD or Sonic Advance 1? Probably Sonic CD more because there's there's still lots of lots to explore in that game that makes it you know different each playthrough. Um, and so on and so forth. And that's kind of how I, 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 I go with my logic. And then general production value of the game and, and other factors as well. Um, Fair enough. And that's how I do mine. Is that how do you how do you do yours? How do you think you you logic your way through yours? No, I'm kind of the same way with you. What do I want to play more so in that production value? Cool. Well then, next week we are doing Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two. Mm-hmm. This video should be going up fairly soon. It might go up this weekend, um, just to keep things consistent. So if you're watching this a week afterwards, which you probably aren't. Then we'll see you next week. <laughs> Hopefully, we got a week and a half to finish Sonic Adventure Two. We're going to be playing yes. through both stories, getting to the final boss, the Super Sonic fight, because that is a more story-based game. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Do you want to close this out? Sure. Uh, thank you guys very much for joining us this evening. Um, we look forward to ranking. Sonic Adventure 2. It'll be a blast. Uh, join us next time in our next video. A uh, chaos blast. Ooh. Bye, guys. Bye.